Bluegrass Jamalong is proud to be sponsored by Collins Guitars and Mandolins, each and every one built from the sound up in Austin, Texas. This episode is also brought to you by Peghead Nation, the home of Roots Music Instruction. If you want to improve your playing, join me and thousands of other pickers getting better every day at pegheadnation.com. Hi, this is Matt, and you're listening to Bluegrass Jam Along, the podcast for anyone and everyone who loves bluegrass. Hey everybody, welcome back to Bluegrass Jam Along. This is your Bluegrass Briefing for the 23rd of September 2024 and that was Brian Sutton with the fabulous Bluegrass Jam Along theme tune. Um, what have we got coming up? Well, it's IBMA this week, so as of tomorrow I am heading out to North Carolina to join in with all that. It's going to be a super cool time, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I had an amazing time last year and I'm just looking forward to meeting some more people this year and having a good time again. Um, as a result of planning for that, a few bits and pieces, a couple of postponed interviews due to scheduling conflicts, I haven't got an interview this week. I have got an episode to put out, but I haven't quite finished editing it. I'll try and get it up and out before I go. If not, I'll put it out while I get back. Um, but I'm chatting to loads of people on IBMA, and there will be some interviews and some content about that to come later on. So without any further ado, let's crack on with Church Street News. <laughs> And the first key bit of Church Street News is IBMA. It is starting on Tuesday, um, which is tomorrow, as most of you will hear this. Um, there's all sorts of info out there. If you're going, the app is now out there. Go and check out the app because it's got all the schedules on. You can save your schedule, work out what you want to go and see, see who's playing at showcases, all that kind of thing. Um, some of it will be live streamed. You'll get to see the um, award ceremonies will be live streamed on Facebook, so check those out as well. Loads of bands playing. Um, who else is going? That's what I want to know. If you are going... Come and find me, come and say hello, or message me on social media or whatever. Let me know you're going to be out there, and I'll try and come and find as many people as I can to say hello to you. Um, I had a great time last year meeting some people who listened to the podcast, some of the people I've interviewed. Uh, it's just great, so do give me a shout. Um, and as I say, I'll be recording a load of content when I'm out, so there'll be some stuff on the podcast all about that when I get back. Very exciting, can't wait for that. Um, another thing that is sort of related to that is Collings, who sponsored this podcast, as you all know, they have a brand new line of guitars called Hill Country Guitars, which they're going to be showing at IBMA, and which I've been promised I can get my hands on one of them. I'm very looking forward, to, very much looking forward to playing that. Um, and they're a bit of a departure from, from Collings, a bit more of a kind of woody um, sound, I've been told. I haven't played one yet. I've seen a couple of videos of people playing them online. Um, but yeah, they look really cool. Sort of, um, They feature hand-pulled appointments, individual tone wood selection and voicing. They just look great. I was very excited to try one of those. So I will let you know what I think about that when I've played one. Um, Kruger Brothers Music Academy is coming up in February, Feb 13th to 16th, um, at the Yadkin Valley Event Centre, Wilkesboro, North Carolina. And it's basically three days and four nights of classes, jamming, sharing time and music with people. Um, hosted by the Kruger Brothers, uh, which should be really exciting. Individual instrument classes in guitar, banjo, bass, guitar, upright bass and fiddle, and guided traditional singing with claw hammer banjo. Sounds like a really cool thing. Um, if you are able to get to North Carolina in February, I would strongly recommend you check that out. I'll stick a link in the show notes. Um, I'll stick a link in the show notes so you can have a look at some of the Collins guitars as well, because they do look really special. Uh, but that is it for news and announcements. Let's move on to The Grass Is New. <laughs> And this week's new releases, there's a new single from Daniel Patrick called Blue Sky with Sam Bush. Daniel runs Mandolins and Beer podcast, I'm sure you all know, and it's been on this podcast a couple of times. Um, yeah, it's his first single from his new record that's coming out very soon, which features a bunch of really cool collaborations with other mandolin players. So go and listen to that. That is in the Grass's Mostly New playlist now. Go and check that out. 
Um, Molly Tuttle has a new six-track EP out called Into the Wild. There's something from that on the playlist as well. That's sort of a mixture of some originals and some covers. Really cool. I really like... One of the things I like about streaming, and there's things that I don't like about streaming, but one of the things I do is it's much easier for people to put out EPs and short things in between records um, a bit more easily than maybe they used to when it was all physical product. And I like that. I think it's really cool. It gives you a chance to hear some different stuff and for people to put out things as smaller projects too. So go and check out Molly's EP, Into the Wild. Um, Billy Strings also has a new single called Seven Weeks in County, which is the latest single off his Highway Prayers album, which actually lands on Friday this week. So that is out too. And I've put the single in the playlist. Um, and there's a new record from Dan Timinski, Live from the Ryman. Um, Dan's having a bit of a bluegrass renaissance at the moment, really kind of going down the trad bluegrass route and putting out some great stuff. Um, there's a track from that in the playlist as well. Uh, talking about IBMA earlier, a band I saw several times out there last year, Stillhouse Junkies, who are very cool indeed. They have a new single called West Virginia with Tim O'Brien, um, which is now out and is also in the Grass's Mostly New playlist. Go and check that out. I very much hope to get to see them play again in IBMA. Um, and a couple of things we've talked about on the podcast a bit recently. Jerry Douglas, his new record, The Set, is now out. Um, the whole thing is out in the world for you to listen to. Do check that out and go and listen to the interview I did with him, if you missed it. Um, really interesting interview with Jerry about making that record and about the band that he is playing with at the moment. And finally, the Hawktail and Vesson album is out now. So you can go and hear the, the whole thing. And I really like that. It's a really cool record. Um, I am a big fan of Hawktail. I um, really love their stuff. So check that out. Um, so yeah, Daniel Patrick's single, Molly Tuttle's new EP Into the Wild, New Billy Strings single, and the record is coming on Friday, the full record. Um, Dan Timinski's live album, Still House Junkies single, and Jerry Douglas and Hawktail and Besson albums all out, all in the playlist. Go and get your ears around them. There's some really cool music coming on at the moment. Um, enjoy those. <laughs> Which leaves us with Scroll on Buddy. And Scroll on Buddy, I've been uh, watching the video for Billy Strings, Seven, Seven Days in County, um, which is a lot of fun. It is People don't make videos in that way for a lot of stuff necessarily. It's only sort of people, maybe like Billy, you can afford to make a big budget video, but it's, he's making some fun videos for this new record. So go and check that out. I'll stick a link in the playlist. Um, and then just in my ears this week, I've been listening to the Willie Watson album, which has just come out. Um, it's yeah, Willie. Willie was in obviously Old Crow Medicine Show, uh, but he's got a self-titled record out. It's produced by Gabe Witcher from Punch Brothers and Kenneth Pattengale from Milk Carton Kids. Um, Gabe Witcher plays on it as does Paul Coet and some other cool people. Um, hoping to get to see Willie out at IBMA. He's playing, I think, uh, at least one set. Uh, it's a really. I've only <clears throat> listened to it once or twice. It's a really cool record. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, go and have a listen to that as well. Definitely not straight bluegrass, but definitely very much adjacent sits in that space um, and some of the some of my favourite records do and this may well be one of them I'm enjoying it a lot so far um, but that is it I will see you on the other side of IBMA um, keep an eye on Bluegrass Jam Along social feeds if you want to see who I've met what I've been up to out there um, all the usual stuff applies all the episodes are on the website all the platforms um, you know you've heard it a million times before um, thank you for listening this week I will see you next week have a great week and happy picking <laughs> Bluegrass Jamalong is proud to be sponsored by Collings Guitars and Mandolins, making some of the finest guitars and mandolins in the world since the 1970s. Visit collingsguitars.com and find out why.